Welcome back, 26 Acres Outdoors. You want to learn a quick little recipe? Super easy. Cook your corners cross meat chickens, meat birds, whatever you want to call it. Our little gal here, one of our little corners cross from last year. Nice summertime day. Show you how I cook them up on the grill. Super easy and super tasty. And uh, let's get to it, shall we? All right, I got the grill, go gas grill going on outside, heating up to about 300 degrees. That's it. That's easy. Here's even easier. You can use any rub you like for your chicken. I personally got the hot honey chipotle rub by Pit Boss. Got it at Walmart. This is super, got a lot of flavor, a lot of spice. I actually kind of like it. Otherwise, I wouldn't be dousing this bad girl in it. So, put as much as you can stomach. I just cover it right up. Rub it in real good. I forgot something. Hold on. All right, with any rub, you're gonna to wanna to use a binder. I forgot, obviously, because I got too excited. Um, I like to use mustard, so just squirt any old mustard on there that you want. I'm just using yellow mustard. Kind of rub that around, right in our armpits, kneecaps, whatever you want. All right, I'll even put some on the bottom. So this way our uh, rub will stick. Nope, I'm just gonna kinda be very generous with it. Get it all over everything. I'm gonna write down a write down inside, rub some of that around in there. It'll give the it'll throw some flavor through the bird from the inside out while you uh, got it cooking on the grill. I said, I'm not bashful with it. Gonna put it on there, make a mess, clean it up later. All right. She's nice and rubbed in. I rubbed it real good. This is gonna be clucking delicious. I'm telling you. Ah, 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 you like that? Still G-rated. We're good. Staying with all the standards. All right. Now, if I had garlic cloves, I would put garlic cloves down inside the bird, but I don't. So I am going to use, and it's easier to go through the bigger end, just minced garlic. Nice big scoop inside there, rub it around. You can put an onion in, I don't have any onions. I don't put any salt and pepper because most of the spices that you get, or the rubs, in my opinion, are salty enough. But if you like salt, add more. And I just put a little bit on top. That's it. Let's get her out to the grill and then make some sides, whatever you want. We're gonna have some, what do we got? Macaroni salad sides and stuff tonight. Uh, maybe even my cucumber salad. I love that, that's actually on a, one of the perch fishing videos. That's real easy, but we're not getting into that. We're just gonna cook this and I'll show you this. And then, one other final step, when you got it close to being done, that's when you hit it with the barbecue sauce. We like sweet baby rays around here. We're gonna hit this up with some sweet Vidalia onion. I personally like the Hawaiian by uh, sweet baby rays. That barbecue sauce is awesome. Sweet, it's good. It'll go good with this because we'll have a nice bite with this super spicy thing. So let's go out there. Calvin, you cooking? Calvin, you cooking? No. Your mom's a truck in it. Your mom's a truck in it. He's trucking, we're clucking. Let's get to clucking. Oh, chef and two. Tell us, my kid, Land of the Free, 1776. All right, she's in there. Got the temperature about 300, 325, anywhere in between there. I'm going just by what my grill thing is, but keep it around there. And we'll let our little girl gal in here, our little corners cross. We will let her hang out there in the oven. Cook her up, heat's on low. Now what do we do? Hang out, wait with balloons. Well, while we wait, I think the little guy's got the right idea.
the biggest secret to grilling Cornish Cross meat hens. Besides, it's looking very tasty. Don't run out of propane in the middle of it. Slight delay, but we're gonna we'll get that fixed up. Hey Larry, if you're watching, problem solved. I don't think this meal can get much better. Now that we got propane, my roommate, she keeps adding more and more stuff, so now we have some kind of cobbler, which looks delicious, if we find a spot for it. Right there next to our little chicky mama. We got some taters. Look at her go. All right, let's get her heated up so we can eat finally tonight. All right. We have got probably 20, 20 minutes left. So now we're gonna hit it up with our sweet baby rays. We're just gonna try not to get it all over everything else. Just kind of lather that bad girl up. Daddy, dump it on. Dump it on. Kid says dump it on. Dump it on, Daddy. You know what? Yeah. I think what? you got the right idea. You know. Dump it on, according to the kid. That ketchup? No, it's not ketchup. It's barbecue sauce. And then just work it on. And I think it's just about done. I think running out of propane didn't running out of propane did not help the situation. And chicken should be about 165 to 175, depending on how you like it. Let's take a take a peekaroni. That is just about done. Cool. You want to just poke it where there's no bone? Obviously. I'd say yeah. Uh, couple more minutes then we're eating are we eating are you excited no no okay Ooh. oh look at that looking good everything should be done that's a nice meaty spot oh yeah Bloop. One seventy six. So let's be done. Let's get this off the grill and in the kitchen. Let's get to some eating. All right, we got it all off the grill. We got our potatoes and some peppers, and some garlic, some veggies, some uh, cobbler. And the focal point of the dinner is our rubbed barbecued rubbed Cornish cross grilled chicken I say we cut into it see what it looks like you guys ready for this this isn't the best way and fastest easy way to cook grill your chicken the corner cross chicken I don't know what is check it out let's cut into her tastes so much better knowing that you raised it if you had a sharp knife again man nobody got a sharp knife FYI, my birthday's in September. If anybody wants to send me something, send me some sharp knives. Gosh. All right. Let's try to use a steak knife. God almighty. All right. I don't know, I just butchered it. But look at that. It ain't no nice, nice moist chicken. That is good. A good, good, good. Dude, there's something about making your own chicken. Raising your own chicken tastes way better. Mm, that's good. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Give it a try with your Cornish Cross chickens that you raise or just a regular one in the store. Good luck. Catch you next time. And like usual, I accidentally cooked it upside down. So there's your breast meat. Look at that, off the bone, nice and tender.